made some great updates for 22. This beauty, 29 feet, nine and a half inches, roughly 5,100 pounds dry, but could sleep seven to eight. A slideless, I used to call Pioneer's entry level, but I think this beauty's crested the top. This one might be on the mountain peak of being your favorite bunkhouse RV. Welcome to the BH250. Let's go check it out. What's up, it's Chris Young, just checking out the new Heartland Pioneer BH250 slideless RV bunkhouse, ready for the family, uh, laid out, man, with some upgrades. But look, hear me for a second. If you've been looking for that next RV, maybe you need some RV tips, maybe you just like the outdoors, you like the RV lifestyle, give us a like, subscribe, and notify. You never know, the next video you see might be your favorite. Right now, let's talk a little bit about this BH250. Bobby, give it a spin. So for 22, they decided to come with a more home decor. You know, they want you to be namaste up in your RV because this decor is called manaste or manaste. To be honest, I don't know. It's spelled M-A-N-I-S-T-E-E. -E. So I thought namaste first came to my mind because you know I've, I've been hit a lot. There you go, beautiful. Light brown decor, shaker style cabinets, matte black pulls with the matte black inlaid features and accents. I'm digging what they did. Plus you got a ton of upgrades. Pioneer is historically an entry level RV, but they really made some upgrades to kind of go after that mid tier. Still entry level price, great quality construction. They even wrapped the floor around the edges during the construction process so that you have an extra moisture barrier in there. Something that a lot of manufacturers don't do. Upgraded linoleum all the way throughout. Over here on the off camp side, we got, how about part of the Master Chef inspired kitchen, solid surface countertops, allowing us to have an undermounted 50 50 sink with the high rise faucet, large cross flow windows. They made the kitchen window and the dinette window bigger. So not only would you have great panoramic views and light, you get good cross flow in here as well. Frosted glass inlay right here in my cabinets above the sink. Six foot eight of clearance inside of here as well. Flush mounted Greystone microwave. I got my flush mounted suburban cooktop, giving me more prep space, but also doubling as a backsplash on top of my grill grated three burner cooktop plus 16 inch oven. Got the eight cubic foot gas electric fridge. Uh, I think somebody added this paneling in because it's not matching the decor, but I gotta tell you, I kinda dig it. It's like a, a tannish bamboo that might be incidental, that might be accidental. Regardless, it's dope. Automatic switch on the gas electric fridge. Sorry, Bobby, I was trying to hit you with the freezer door there. But if you notice, um, this is a slideless RV. So Bobby, I'm gonna sit here at the countertop like I'm cooking. I want you to go by me. No cross, he doesn't hit me. You got plenty of room inside this BH250. Now, over here on the campsite, look at the decorative tabletop that we have here with the large booth dinette. Could easily fit four people in here, plush, comfortable cushions. This also reduces down into a sleeper. Now, the BH250 will easily sleep seven to eight people, but this beauty right there, I like that. I like the color scheme here. Plus, just imagine pulling up and looking at the beach, looking at the mountains, looking at, you know, whatever. But just looking at it, you're, you're on vacation and you're in your home. More storage up top. Look at that. Come over here, Bobby, I'm gonna get out your way so you can check out the IRV Technologies, AM FM Command Center, plus you got Bluetooth, HDMI, dual zone, TV backer, cable connection, 110 outlet, HDMI cable hanging up out there. It's a beautiful thing. Absolutely beautiful thing. 13.5 BTU Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet AC to go along with a 30,000 BTU furnace. In entry level, I'm used to seeing 20,000. That 10,000 additional BTUs of heat does a good job. Add that to the fact that Pioneer's also upgraded their construction a little bit. This is an aluminum sided RV with you know wooden framing with that R7 type insulation. 
This will do a good job of getting you two seasons, maybe three seasons, depending on your camping area. Rear camp corner, you got the rounded edge, double over double bunks. Yes, look at that plush, comfortable teddy bear mattress. That's roughly a little bit more than, you know, two inches thick. Um, underneath, you got a window in the back. Plus, you got a little bit of storage down there as well. You'll see the hole there. Thank you there, young Robert, which is also accessible from the outside. Nice little feature, so if you do need to grab something that's underneath and it's raining outside, you don't have to worry about it. Bobby, if you turn around, you'll notice there's a cubby hole up top for some storage, good grab and go spot, and pantry storage, uh, ward storage, fish and lure storage, shoe storage, lock storage, shrimp, barbecue shrimp, shrimp etouffee, you see where I'm going with that. Back here in the off camp corner, we got ourselves a porcelain bowl, high rise with the foot flush. Nice little feature. Once again, you don't see in a lot of entry level RVs. Corner mounted vanity right here with the sink, the decor matching the table. Got me some storage underneath. I'm not cramped uh, when I'm sitting here. Got the corner mounted medicine cabinet. Here, ooh, I wish they'd give me a raised lip. I wish actually they'd give me a little bit bigger of a medicine cabinet too. I mean, I, I like this because it's maximizing the space, but you could probably get a bigger one to fit in here uh, just to give you a little bit more room. A little light there, vent and fan here. Uh, and you got the tub and shower surround. Now I'm 6'2", so I'm a little cramped. Would like to see a skylight put in right here because it is kind of dark. And even with the light, uh, if I'm taking a shower, it would be kind of dark, so I would get a lighter curtain right here. But single shower surround with the tub. Plus, I got the nozzle and the corner mounts for my soaps. I mean, if you need to wash off the kids or the dogs, it's a good spot to do it because the water won't fall over the side. You can get them cleaned up, and they're not tracking a bunch of stuff through your new BH250. And last but not least, let's talk about the Master Suite. It's another upgrade this year that Pioneer did. Now, not only do you have the jackknife sofa right here up against the wall leading into the master, plush, comfortable, another sleeping space if you need it, but more importantly, entertaining space. In an entry-level RV that's slideless, you get a true separation of space with a master suite. This is what I like because if the kids are out here, they're noisy, they're rambunctious, get away from me. You could go in here, you're in your sanctuary. It's not just a curtain. Don't you, don't you, don't you huff puff stomp on me. <laughs> Come into the master suite. You'll notice larger than regular wardrobes that are weird, uh, that are mirrored. <laughs> they are, they, we're weird. Uh, you got 110, plus you'll notice right there in the LED light, there's a USB plug for some charging and CPAP access. Both of the wards on both sides of the bed here have access so if you need to reach inside grab your cell phone or set up a CPAP machine you could you got the decorative headboard the storage lip but what I really like the upgraded I sleep mattress system this is a foam high density foam mattress extremely comfortable and some good storage right there plus once again cross flow windows TV backer is here on this wall cable connection and 110 right there they're doing it right they are doing it right. Plus, I'm set up for 4G, LTE, Wi-Fi boosting prep. Heartland is doing it right with the Pioneers, man. Bang for your buck all day long with this beauty. So we've seen the inside of the BH250. Let's go check out the outside. All right, so here we are on the outside of the all-new Heartland Pioneer BH250. And while you're here on YouTube checking us out, uh, if you would, give us a like, a subscribe, and a notify, because you never know. You might find the RV of your dreams just waiting for you when you get home. Let's start right up front with this beauty. You'll notice what they did was they redesigned the front profile. It's more aerodynamic, plus they got this hybrid aluminum profile up front, which takes more tongue weight off, but also gives it a little bit more durability. So you're deflecting air, you're deflecting water and wind, all that good stuff, but you're also a little bit lighter. Diamond plate rock guard seated on top of the single welded frame here. Twin 20 pound LP tanks plus powered tongue jack on this 29 and nine and a half inch BUT. Underneath, Bobby, would you just look at it? What we got down here? Well, we got ourselves a PSX1 stabilizer jacks that are powered plus an enclosed underbelly. 
How cool is that for an entry-level RV? What they've also done is they've upgraded the storage. They call it King Kong size storage. In some of the pioneers, you get up to 52 and a half cubic feet of additional storage, but the doors are bigger and taller. So if you got those camp chairs, those whatever, those umbrellas, the little bobbies, you can just put them right in there. Yes, I'm talking about you, Robert, because I know you took my bag of jelly bean Skittles and I am not happy about it. Plastic clip, keeping the storage door up, closed hinge. Plus you got this coating on the siding here that's gonna help with fading and keep the colors nice and bright. Large awning with the LED light strip, solid step over steps leading into the main entry with the extra large door handle. Plus we got the steel rims, those Dexter Easy Lube axles with those radial tires. Power if you wanna set up some TV entertainment. Little cable connection right here. External speakers, marine grade. Rear stab jacks in the back too. Plus here's that storage that, you know, on the inside when Bob lifted up, you got the bunks right here. So good little spot for stuff you wanna keep outside, but you may need to access from the inside. Also like how they took the extra step of covering the hinge. So that way, if you do get, you know, some water, the steel hinge won't give you those rush streaks going down that beautiful white door right there. LP quick connect on the rear too. So if you're gonna bring your camp, grill you can four by four sewer hose storage how about the tailgate system coming from heartland a bike rack cooler rack if you want to put the wood on here so you don't have all those chips in your storage or inside the rv good little spot to do that on plus you got your spare tire mounted on the back furion backup camera there plus those arch ceilings and the rain nozzles the three inch nozzles come around here to the main terminations or the dumps you got your gray tank your wastewater tank uh, so whites on this one, white, gray, and black. You got 41, 40, and 40. Uh, 41 gallon white, 40 gallon gray and black. 30 amp plug right there. It's the back of our fridge, back of our water heater. And how about this? Easy camp package. You get a shower, external with hot and cold, plus black tank flush, city water connection. These right here, so handy. And to have it on entry level, it's so nice. Just so nice. Other side of the pass-through storage here. And Bobby, I'm gonna shut this because here is where the rubber meets the road. This is your info panel. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? So gross vehicle weight on this one, 6,900 pounds. You're looking at 5,100 pounds dry. So, you know, 52, 51, 52. It, that's where you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and you say, okay, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow Here's where we're gonna go camping. Here's how many people I need to sleep. Which RV is right for me? That's where we'll be able to guide you down the path of finding the one that's right for you. We have that information. No, absolutely. We will find the RV of your dreams, no questions asked. But I gotta tell you, man, 29 feet, nine and a half inches. Let's just call it 5,200 pounds, just to be square. Slideless bunkhouse, sleep seven to eight people. Entry level, is it, if you're looking for your first RV, you wanna get up off the ground, I gotta tell you, man, put this BH250 at the top of the list to check out just because of the features they've added for 22. But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you like about this one? What'd you not like about it? And while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify. With as much information as we put out here at Camping World, whether it be tips and tricks, how-tos, product guides, you know, or just RV reviews, you never know. When you get home, you might be the RV of your dreams or the thing that's gonna make your RV better. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Chris Young for Camping World. Hope you enjoyed the BH250. Until next time, I'll see you soon. And please come check out our RV because they're fun.